Hi, I am Peter Bregan. Um, Fifteen years ago, I warned the FDA and I warned the country in toxic psychiatry that antidepressants were causing a stimulant amphetamine-like syndrome that was resulting in violence and murder. In 1994, in talking back to Prozac, I warned the country and the FDA again, this time with tons now of scientific data on the same issues. During that period of time, I was asked to be, and this is very relevant to your deliberations, the scientific investigator for all of the combined Prozac suits, uh, almost 200 of them. So I got to look at all the sealed data that Eli Lilly didn't want anybody else to see. So about 20 books later now, and a few dozen scientific studies, and innumerable, innumerable product liability suits where I've looked at sealed data, I've come to tell you that you're evaluating junk. You're evaluating carefully edited, expurgated data that I've seen and you haven't. This is a most remarkable circumstance that you have resources, people who have been inside the drug companies who can tell you what's happening inside the drug companies, and of course, you've avoided it. All the documents I'm going to discuss now are on my website, www.bregan.com, and they've all been given to you, uh, sent to you uh, uh, via the committee. In 1985, the Germans asked Eli Lilly to review all of its uh, controlled clinical trials, phase two, phase three, for suicidality. The company came up with 12 suicide attempts on Prozac, one on alternative antidepressant, and one on placebo, a raging signal, which the company did not report to the Germans, did not report to the FDA, and did not report at the 1991 hearings. In addition, the company hid suicidal data. When it would get an incoming suicide from the field, it would reclassify it as depression, it would reclassify it as no drug effect. Uh, Claude Boucher, who was in Germany uh, working for Eli Lilly, wrote an ashamed memo to the central office saying, how would I explain this to quote my family, to quote a judge? But he said we would, of course, go along with what the company said. And as for akathisia, the company was very clever. It didn't code akathisia. So none were reported. It wasn't an available term. I found innumerable cases of akathisia combing through the company files that were never, never reported. GSK, GlaxoSmithKline on Paxil, combing through their files, I have found suicides that haven't found their way, suicide attempts. Thank you.